This is Ashley Stevens with UNCF. We're at the UNCF Career Pathways convening, and I am delighted to be with our president and CEO, Dr. Michael L. Lomax. Welcome, Dr. Lomax. Hi, Ashley. How are you today? I'm doing great. Glad to see you here, day three of our convening. Right. And can you tell me a little bit, what are some of the observations um, that you soaked up so far from some of the other leaders and presidents right. here and, and attendees? Well, you know, we have 30 teams of uh, college and universities uh, that were... Uh, highly competitive and have been selected to receive a planning grant and they're here for their first big convening and uh, you know I, what I would say that I see mostly is deeply engaged individuals and teams that are one trying to think through what is this career pathways opportunity and how will that uh, both transform their campuses but impact powerfully their students and their graduates. And so, uh, you know, so much of the focus in, in higher education has been on completing college. Uh, you know, do you get that degree? This is asking the, the bigger question, which is, is that degree or that credential, is it representative of the knowledge and skills that are going to be required to have a, um, you know, a meaningful career immediately after graduation? And so, we know that in the African American community, uh, unemployment rates for uh, African American recent college graduates are higher than they are for uh, uh, non-African Americans. Uh, the unemployment rate for uh, college graduates uh, is about 2.4 percent, so it's very low. But the unemployment rate for African American college graduates is is in the double digits. So the question becomes why is that the case? Is that discrimination? Uh, we think there is still a racial factor there, but we also think that uh, this is an opportunity for us to ensure that uh, graduates of historically black colleges and public and private and predominantly black institutions uh, get an edge. Right. And that the edge is that they are really prepared with not just uh, a, a degree, but the skills and capabilities and the credentials that reflect that, mm -hmm. which are going to be required in the workplace in the 21st century. Got it. And, and we speak of, you know, 21st century, um, you know, being prepared for it. What do you think that UNCF's Career Pathways Initiative will mean for faculty and helping the students be prepared for 21st century workplace? Well, I think that we can't do what we've always done and expect different, uh, different results. Uh, you know, in some ways, uh, college curricula and faculty are guardians of, uh, of, of knowledge and uh, you know, the best of, of our thinking. But sometimes that's a little, you know, that is not as uh, contemporary, it's not as innovative, it's not as uh, immediate in terms of its impact. So we want to make sure that this isn't, you know, we're not teaching them uh, the knowledge and skills that were required for a, a previous generation, we want them to have the knowledge and skills that are going to be required today. And that mean, uh, that doesn't mean we're going to throw out the liberal liberal arts and we're not going to have arts and, and, and sociology and social sciences, but we are going to say that the workplace of the 21st century does require uh, some different skills. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, probably the most important is going to be uh, a real facility and familiarity with uh, technology Got and being able to use it in a way not just as a you know as an enhancement of our daily lives right. but using that in the workplace and using it effectively. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think that's important to note, too, because I was going to ask, you were a professor at Morehouse and at Spelman. You know, then, what were some of the challenges you faced getting students ready for meaningful careers compared yeah. with what we're trying to do now through this yeah. initiative? Well, you know, for, I was, a, I was a, a taught in the English department, and I taught uh, literature, and my, my real background was in communications. Uh, and uh, so, can you write clearly? Uh, can you uh, read uh, critically? Can you speak um, articulately? Can you make an argument? Well, you know, those are all important, and I still think those are important skills that students should have. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are other literacies now, and one of them is going to be coding and the use of technology. And, and I think, well, not everybody's going to become writing apps, uh, writing code for apps. I think we all have to understand 
what is the language of technology? Uh, how does how do we get these these uh, applications and these pieces of technology that we use all the time to work? And and I think that since they're going to be a, a very integral part of the workplace, uh, our graduates are going to have to have greater facility in the use of technology. And, and I know you, you've spoken a lot a lot about not students not only having a career or employment upon graduation, but particularly for millennials, it's important to feel like they're tied to something, tied to yeah. a greater cause, something they can connect to and, and have a, a purpose to fulfill. Well, I, I'm not sure it's just millennials. I mean, I think that the research says that uh, high-performing individuals uh, who have uh, a real commitment to the work that they do have a couple of things associated with that. First of all, that the work that they do isn't just a job, it's a passion, mm -hmm. something that they're deeply committed to. And it was a, a, an interest that they initially had that they've cultivated and nurtured, and now it is a passion. Uh, and, and so the one element is, are you passionate about what you're doing? The other element of it is that to sustain yourselves through what is often a very challenging uh, and long career, uh, you've got to feel that you're doing this for a reason more than just a paycheck. Mm -hmm. So it is the purpose uh, and the sense of the impact that you're having by doing the work that you do. So passion and purpose are two elements of what I call vocation, mm -hmm. calling. And uh, you know, so I think as we think about careers, we also think about uh, we, we can think about that as a vocation, a calling, something that people are do, preparing to commit their lives to. Yes, I'm doing this as a way of earning a living and getting remuneration, mm -hmm. but it's also uh, providing psychic and emotional meaning in my life as well and impact in my community. Got it, got it. And, you know, and Career Pathways Initiative, you know, UNCF has more than 400 scholarship fellowship and internship programs. And this is a new concept. Can you talk about, I guess, how this differs from some other UNCF programs that we've had and really what it means to the landscape, particularly for HBCUs and predominantly black Well, I think, I think one of the elements that this is going to lift up and it's probably going to, we're going to see a lot of expansion is that what you learn in a classroom and how you apply it in the workspace, uh, we're going to see that there are going to be a lot more opportunities for what we call co-curricular activities uh, for students. So uh, really internships are going to increase in value. Mm -hmm. Cooperative learning programs. So people will take you know, time off and they'll work in that ex in space, really understand whether that's the right fit for them, but also understand how they have to bring to life what they learn in books and what they learn in the classroom into the work environment. How, you know, and you know, you, you read a textbook and it talks about working in groups. Well, the best way to figure out whether you're going to be good at working in groups is actually to experience that. Right. So uh, UNCF does provide a number of internships. I want to see that grow significantly. Absolutely. And to make sure that we're seeing the, the internships not as just a summer job, mm -hmm. but as a way of expanding our understanding and command of what we're learning. Got it, got it, got it. And, you know, lastly, I guess, can you speak to, you know, what the significance of this means to the support of Lilly Endowment in creating this initiative? Um, why is that important? You know, UNCF has been you know, fortunate to receive lots of, you know, major and impactful yeah. gifts um, in recent years. Uh, well, I think, first, that this is, uh, uh, that this gift of $50 million, it reflects a kind of confidence that, that Lilly has in UNCF. And also, it's a reflection of what has been a half, uh, three, almost three quarters of a century of a relationship between UNCF and Lilly. Uh, they, they were respondents to our first campaign in 1944, and they've been supporting UNCF ever since then. Uh, you know, I think that what is really important about this gift is that it enables us to plan from the very beginning of the program through the end of the six years with all of the resources that we need to bring this, this project to life so that we're not scurrying around looking for additional resources and we can focus all of our attention on doing the program and doing it effectively. Uh, and then I think, you know, Lily is asking the big question, how do we ensure that a college degree is really delivering all of the resources that our graduates need mm -hmm. to have meaningful employment. That isn't just a Lilly Endowment question, that's a national question. It's not just an HBCU question, 
It's a question for the nation. And so we're excited that this is an instance when HBCUs are at the cutting edge of a challenging issue that has national consequences and, and that we're helping the nation answer. And it's particularly salient for us because the, uh, the pipeline of students going to college is looking more like uh, the students who have attended uh, HBCUs, minority students, first generation students, low income students who are coming to college and working so hard to go to college and to pay for college and they've got to get a great return on their investment. And CPI, we believe, career pathways, mm -hmm. vocation, mm -hmm. uh, meaning and purpose and work and good employment, meaningful employment are all a part of that return on the investment. Do you think UNCF will be a leader in this space in terms of having data to show the the outcomes for graduates? Well, I mean, so this is a yeah, this this is a career pathways initiative uh, will have evidence. It's evidence based and data driven, and we will have outcomes that we will a be able to look at and understand why, for example, if there is continued gap between the employment rates for. African-American college graduates and all college graduates, why are African-American college graduates uh, uh, unemployment rates higher? We want to answer that question. We want to ensure that uh, uh, black college graduates are being compensated at levels appropriate for the work that they're doing, that they're getting the opportunities, that they are fully employed and meaningfully employed. And that's good for them, it's good for their colleges, and it's great for the nation. Got it. Well, thank you, Dr. Okay. Lomax, for your reflections. Again, UNCF President and CEO, Dr. Michael Lomax, at the inaugural UNCF Career Pathways convening in Atlanta.